So I was looking through my anatomy lecture notes, studying for my final tomorrow, and I decided to look on YouTube uh, videos about blood because it's part of my test to be about blood. And um, I'm sure one of the questions on my test would be the differences between red blood cells and white blood cells. And I was looking through YouTube about differences between white blood cells and red blood cells. And I saw that there wasn't a video that I could find about the differences between the two. So today I'm going to make a video about the differences between white blood cells and red blood cells. And hopefully um, help you guys to understand the differences. And here's a little graphic that I have. Um, here you have a red blood cell. This is a white blood cell. And just from the looks of them, you can see that they're totally different. And they have different functions, different lifespans, different percentages of the blood. And it's quite profound, the differences. So we'll start with the um, red blood cell. The function of the red blood cell is basically to transport oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body and take carbon dioxide back to the lungs to transport it out. So if you didn't have red blood cells, you'd have a buildup of carbon dioxide in this, your system and you wouldn't have oxygen transporting itself. Uh, the gases um, are transported by a protein called hemoglobin. And uh, hemoglobin is what gives the blood its red color, the red blood cells its red color whenever it's oxygenated. White blood cells, on the other hand, they're disease-fighting cells. They don't transport oxygen or CO2. They're, they fight harmful viruses, bacteria, fungi, anything foreign that enters the the body, the white blood cells will respond to. That's why when you get sick, you'll have an elevated white blood cell count. Um, white blood cells, they produce antibodies which overpower germs. These help to kill the germs, eliminate them before they can get a disease started or get a sickness spread. Uh, blood cells, they also serve in removing dead and dying white blood cells from the body, as well as being um, you know, attacking foreign substances. And this is why whenever you have a heart transplant or something, most of the time the surgery is successful, but usually the white blood cells attack it, and you hear about transplant, the rejection, and all that, and that's a good study subject, too. Um, red blood cells and white blood cells are, are both produced by the bone marrow. 95% of all blood cells are produced in the bone marrow, and the bone marrow is basically the soft sponge-like material that is at the center of the bone. Now we're going to move to the lifespan of the blood cells. On average, red blood cells, they live about 120 days. They don't have a long lifespan. And white blood cells live even fewer. They, on average, live about a few days to a few weeks. And both of them are constantly being replaced. And there's millions being replaced in your body every second. Red blood cells make up about 40 to 50 percent of the blood. Um, average is about 45 percent. White blood cells make up 1 percent of the blood, and plasma makes up the rest. So you see, red blood cells far outnumber the white blood cells. And then red blood cells, they do not have a nucleus. They in their beginning stages, when they're being formed, they have a nucleus. But in their adult stages, when it's actually being used by the body, they do not have a nucleus. Um, they extrude them as they mature to, in order to make room for hemoglobin. And in the graphic, um, you see the on the red blood cell, you see the little indention. It's been explained by my anatomy teacher that this is the area where the nucleus used to be where it got ejected from so it could make room for hemoglobin. And there's so many differences between the two, but these are the main differences between red blood cells and white blood cells. Studying blood is an amazing um, subject to study. Uh, blood is the only liquid tissue in the body. and 
it transports so many things. It's the life source of humans, and um, you could give blood. You could help people by giving blood. I um, hope everybody out there gives blood if you're able. But I didn't see a video out there that you know really contrasted red blood cells and white blood cells. So I just want to make this video to educate you, maybe use this in more of your lessons, maybe just use it for general knowledge, but I hope you found this lesson useful, and subscribe to my channel for more science videos, more health videos. Um, in the future, I'll probably make some videos about Crohn's disease, and uh, because my fiance has Crohn's, and it's really uh, close to my heart about Crohn's, and so... Just subscribe and stay tuned to me and uh, thank you for watching.